Humanity has been driven from Earth, but now it's time to take it back. Join the reconquest and fight the scourge on the Drop Zone Commander Hub at beastofwar.com. Progress comes to a world of magic as science and the arcane combine to make marvels. Meet steampunk inventors and orc mystics at the Volsun Hub on beastsofwar.com. Good morning, everybody! Jazz hands! My hands are full. So we have a bit of electro swing on this morning. This is it. This is the final run into the boot camp. We are up to our armpits and trees. Yeah, you can turn that down. Okay, so here's what's happening. This weekend is the Bolt Action Boot Camp. What is a Bolt Action Boot Camp? Well, the Boot Camp is a Beast of War kind of weekend celebration of a game where we get somewhere between 15 and 20 odd people together who have always wanted to get into a game and we give them what we're trying to do is give them the best possible experience of an introduction to a game possible. But we also live blog the entire event and there are prizes so that you guys, if you're ever interested in getting into Bolt Action or any other games we do a boot camp for, it's a perfect opportunity from where you are to get in, hear the opinions of people that are doing it, see some tips and hints and just generally get into the whole swing. See, excuse the pun <laughs> of the whole thing. Right, we are on tree duty this morning. So all of these trees are having a PVA mix applied to them, which is a very strange color, but that's the color we've selected. It looks different when it's dry. And then they have a sprinkle of static grass put over them. Now these trees come with biscuits. These are the fabulous, fabulous foreground trees. They come with laser cut biscuits, uh, which we used for the larger trees. Um, so that's them um, there. We've, we're gonna do some work to these. But for the small trees, we have opted to use two pence pieces. It's just a tip that we've always used here at Beast of War. We uh, base small trees onto two peas because it means we get them in nice and close to hedgerows and stuff like that. If later on we want to transfer them to biscuits, it's not a problem, we just glue the 2P to the laser cut biscuit. Right, I'm gonna swing around this way. Follow me. Okay, so Pegasus, the Pegasus Bridge build, or as we're calling it, the Red Rum Bridge, because well, it's not quite Pegasus, is it, John? No, not really. Not really. It's now sitting ready. We have a concrete texture just drying at the moment. Um, this concrete texture, believe it or not, is superb because it's concrete from a can. Um, I can't get into it, but it's over there. There's a, a concrete from a can. If you're watching one of our previous vlogs, here we go. We've been using this stuff whenever it's difficult to use anything else because we just mask off the area, spray this stuff down. It sticks to anything. It takes hours to cure, but once it does cure, it is an actual texture, a proper, proper texture. It's good stuff. We have been, this morning, laying out the buildings, just to get our final layout of buildings before we go in and start all the super detailing. All the mats are now glued in, glued in place. Um, we have the basic theme of each map now um, worked out. We have our railroads in place, look, with tank transports and... Oh, it's gonna be so funky! We have still a fair bit of painting to do, not so much, but enough to make us just a little bit nervous. We have beautiful, beautiful uh, telegraph poles from foreground that'll all sit nicely. Where do you see this? It just adds a whole new dimension to the whole board. Just another layer, layer of detail that I think is fabulous. We have our makeshift um, uh, runway in place. We have the aircraft and all in. We are now on the home straight. Now, for any of you boot campers coming along, um, we have got something nice planned. Previously at the last boot camp, we had to pack up quite quickly on the Sunday. This time, there's no such pressures. So Sunday after the boot camp is finished is open gaming. And what we're hoping to do, everything permitting, 
is have a Martian invasion of 1944. Yes, the Beast of War team are going to play you guys and your new armies, but we're coming at it with Martians, baby. So expect big stompy robots, flying saucers, and I'm going mad. And I haven't even had the energy drinks yet. Justin has been preparing them and chilling them for me to get me ready in to survive this week so I can just die on Monday. Right, we are down to our last couple of tickets for the Infinity Boot Camp. So if you fancy joining a boot camp like this, the next one is on June 26th, is it, Justin? Uh, something around that. Yes, I it's think it's June 26th. I, I, it's, uh, I keep mixing my dates up. It's here on Beast of War anyway. We'll put a link into the to the page. It's June 26th. It takes place here in Coleraine in Northern Ireland. Our nearest airports are Belfast City Airport, Belfast International Airport, and Derry City Airport. Although I think Derry City Airport only flies to a farm in Northumbria. Um, but if you are on that farm in Northumbria, you're very welcome to come to a Beast of War boot camp. Uh, like I said, we have a last couple of tickets left now. Um, we'd really love for you to come along, enjoy a brand new army for in Infinity, enjoy some great tables, enjoy some brilliant crack with all your other fellow boot campers and some beers with us all. It's a great weekend. Okay, I'm gonna get back to a little bit of swing here. Viking halls to the cities of the future. Terrain buffs will love our foreground hub. Watch gaming tables of all genres come to life at beastsofwar.com. Anime cyberpunk style meets skirmish combat in Infinity. Experience eight high-tech factions and fight to control the human sphere at the Infinity Hub on beastsofwar.com.